everybody, it's Mama J. Inspector. We are here with our Monday Madness. Monday, we are going to do Woodstock. Okay. Um, I have this box set. I've had this box set a really long time. Yes, it's a box set. <laughs> um, but it's from Woodstock. So, and then I have two pops of people that actually performed at Woodstock. We'll set the pops to the side. We're going to open this and show you what's in here. So this actually comes with multiple parts. Look, Spectre a tambourine. Do you even know how to play it? Do you? So it comes with this tambourine and it does say Woodstock, three days of peace and music. So that's really cool. And you know, back in the day. And it, it does, <laughs> I've taken it out one, one time, the whole thing completely out. So it comes with this inside. So first of all, it comes with this nice container. Uh, it is edition number 9,413 out of 25,000. It's the ultimate collection edition, Woodstock, the director's cut. And this was actually purchased at Target. And on the outside of the big one, it does say exclusive content, never exclusive before. content to Target. So there are things in here that if you kind of like a pop, if you bought it somewhere else, you wouldn't get this exact edition. Yeah, and it has some uh, never before seen items in that box. Yeah. So this is the container and it can be used for other things, but I choose to keep the stuff in it. It has some great pictures on it of different people. So it's really cool. It's very cool. Okay, and then in the box, it actually has, first of all, the box looks like a hippie shirt, which is very cool. So here's one of your bonus discs, the director's cut. Mm -hmm. So that's what the inside looks like. It has couple more pictures the front and then the back tells you exactly what's on this disc this one is called Woodstock the director's cut extras Let's see the inside. and this is untold stories on this one so that's pretty cool. And it looks like a jacket, like the, it resembles a jacket and that's supposed to be like a symbol on the jacket. And there's a pocket flap. I think yours might have been the same way where it kind of is supposed to resent, like mine resembles a jacket. No. Oh, okay. Mine's just kind of like a banner. Oh, yours resembles the crowd. Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. Okay. Um, then you have like a little life special edition Woodstock Music Festival mini mag. And then inside is just mass amount of pictures. Tons of pictures. See? Yeah, this is really cool and it brought, you know, it's the four, this was the 40th anniversary set. Um, so in 19, or in 2009, that would have been 40 years. So we're actually past 50 years now. Yep, last year. So, um, but it has great, I mean, this is what the crowds look like at Woodstock. You know, it's always one of those things where you wish you were there, but some people that were there they, they say, oh no, <laughs> you know, um, and then, you know, I mean, there's lots of different things that you can see and do there. Some great bands. That would be the reason to go. So this book is really awesome. And then we have Woodstock, three days of peace and music. This is actually a little packet that they gave you. And it comes with tickets. 
So this actually has Woodstock tickets for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It was eight dollars, eight dollars, to go see all these bands back then. And it was twenty-four dollars. Well, that is if you went all three days, August fifteenth, sixteenth, and seventeenth. Well, with that many people, you could have just bought one. You could have bought Fridays and, and just stayed. They won't be able to find you. <laughs> True, uh, but that's pretty awesome. And then this says, Nancy, please meet me in front of stage one. I have your... Insulin. Oh, insulin pills. <laughs> Dennis. So these are some of the notes that were left that they actually found. Susan, Mitch, Nancy, and again, Nancy, we're waiting here for you. Hey, dude, on hill to right of stage as you face... Face it? Face back it? Barker it? Take I have it? not a clue. <laughs> This one says, Jackie, where are you? Why didn't you call Barbara and Mark? <laughs> Susan, it's written in blood. Meet you here Saturday, 11 a.m., 3 p.m. on and 7 p.m. So it's probably lipstick is what that probably was. And then this is just a little... This is actually a breakdown. So 1300 Dollars collected in advance sales. Five hundred thousand frankfurters and hamburgers consumed on the first day. Wow. Five hundred long distance phone calls placed the first day at the festival. Four hundred thousand estimate number of people who attended the festival. That's crazy. It is crazy. 320,000 estimated number of people who left before Jimi Hendrix set. Fools, 320,000. They're saying 400,000 attended. So only 80,000 were still remaining when Jimi played. Yeah, when he did his uh, Star Spangled Banner. That's just crazy. 186,000 tickets sold. 100,000 numbers of campers. Um, I mean, this, this has like just an ongoing list. Just an ongoing list. So that's pretty amazing. And then I have this, which says um, the mu museum. And it shows different stuff that you can see there. Oh, actually. 1969 Woodstock Festival. And it was in New York. So this just shows some other things. So that's pretty cool. So that's awesome. And then in here there's a... One of those holographic cards. It was in like a case. Yeah, it's a display case for it. I took it out because that way you guys can see it. But it does come inside this cool display, you know, like glass case that just holds it closed on there. Yeah, it's held together by magnets. So that's pretty cool. So that's all the stuff that came in this box. How much did the box cost? I have no clue. I know that when it came out, I wanted it and my mother actually purchased it for me as a gift. Because I would have loved to gone to Woodstock and seen all these amazing bands play. So that's, I mean, if, if I could be older, this would be one of the reasons why. So, um, okay, and then we also, oh, I missed this one. Oh. I didn't even see it sitting there. This one must have been a paper plate. It says, to Cindy, with the black hair and sister. I'm sorry I was too untogether to remember to ask for your address. Please call um, later in the week. Love, Dan. I missed that one. <laughs> so, um, so there's a lot of cool stuff here that comes with this package. So we also, I have two pops. Let's move this and we'll show you the pops. Okay, so I have these two pops and these are actually two people that did perform at Woodstock. The Grateful Dead performed. Yep. And Jimi Hendrix performed. And you actually have the Jimi Hendrix in the Woodstock outfit. Yes. Um, so that's a pretty awesome pop. This one also, I love both of these pops. They're great. Unfortunately, I have not 
seen either one of them ever in concert. Jimmy, obviously, based on my age. The Grateful Dead. You know, I didn't get into The Grateful Dead till later. So, that's why I never went seeing them. But, you know, Deadheads follow The Grateful Dead around all over the place. Like, literally. I used to know a guy, he would work. And then when they went on tour, he followed them. He'd quit his job and follow them. Then he'd come back home, get another job, save his money till The Grateful Dead went on tour again. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Can you imagine a life like that? I'm just going to work so I can follow the Grateful Dead around. It's crazy. It is crazy. So we're going to do the one thing we do on Mondays. And what is that, Spectre? Take them out of the box. We're going to take them out of the box. So we'll be right back. So we took them out of the box. I have Jerry Garcia and you have Jimi Hendrix. Yep. Um, with Jerry Garcia, actually I was looking at it when I took it out. It's got wonderful detail from his shoes to the guitar, to his glasses, which look very cool. You know, and then that. That's uh, Jerry Garcia there. And Hendrix here. It's, uh, again, another really cool detailed pop. His necklace, the guitar, the rings, his shirt. Very hippie-ish. Yes, yeah, very hippie-ish. The bandana. Um, yeah. Jimi Hendrix was an amazing, amazing guitar player. Uh, a lot of people were inspired, and uh, he was a lot of people's idol because they wanted to be like Jimi Hendrix and play the guitar like Hendrix. Yep. Uh, one of the other bands that was there that there are no pops for yet. Um, and that's the other thing. There's a lot of bands that were there, but... There's no pops for them. You know, so we need to really get some of those pops made for those bands. So the other one was The Who. Who? Who? The Who. Bunch of owls playing? Bunch of owls playing, yeah. The Who, um, amazing. Amazing band. I loved The Who. So, this is a Who comic book. Again, I am collecting the rock and roll comic books. Um, it's the rock and roll comics. I'm trying to get all the numbers, all the variant covers. This happens to be one of the ones we already have. I do have other ones I haven't shown off yet. I'm just trying to show them off as we go along. And then on the back, there's the Who. A little bit older. So, that's very cool. Yeah. So, you know, like I said, I, I would have loved, loved to go to Woodstock. I think it would have been an amazing experience. There are a lot of people there that I never got to see. Some of the bands that played there are all listed here. There was Joan Baez, Paul Butterfield Blues Band, Canned Heat, <laughs> um, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Joe Crocker, Country Joe McDonald, Country Joe and the Fish, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, The Grateful Dead, uh, what does that one say? REO Guthrie, Gunthrie, Sha Na Na, Sha Na Na. They were, you know, they actually, I believe, had a TV show back in the 70s. It was called the Sha Na Na Show. I remember them. Sly and the Family St Stallone. Ten years after, The Who, Johnny Winter. That's just some of them, but we know Hendrix was there. Yeah, you missed um, the whole line. Oh, did I miss the whole line? Yeah. Oh, I sure did. Richie Heavens. That's why I was like, why aren't they listed? Yeah, Richie Heavens, Jimi Hendrix, Jefferson Airplane, Janis Joplin, Mountain, Santana, and John Sebastian. Now, out of everybody listed... You have to know this answer. Who's my favorite out of these people? Janis Joplin. Hands down, Janis Joplin. Please, Funko, give me a Janis Joplin pop. Actually, I'd love to have a Janis and Ride pop. Remember when we went to that uh, museum, the Rock and Roll Museum down in L.A., and they had Janis's car there? The little uh, uh, BMW? I'm going to see if I can find that picture. I don't know. 
I don't know where that picture is. But they need to give me a pop and well, if I don't have one, I can probably pull one up on the internet to show people Janice's car um, with the amazing paint job that it had. But give me a Janice Joplin pop and ride. You know, I mean, come on. All the pops you give us, give us some amazing pops. I think we're going to do a video down the line called the 10 pop, 10 rock pops I wish existed. Yeah. Yeah, no. But either way, these are wonderful. I'm happy to have them in my collection. So now let's move on to the next part where we are going to open two packs of trading cards from our bucket of trading cards. All right. So here we are with our bucket of trading cards. I mean, our uh, bucket of silly CDs. There's all different kinds in here. There's rock ones, Elvis ones, New Kids on the Block, Kiss. There's even some country ones in here. Um, it's just a bucket of trading cards. So we're going to reach in here and we're each going to draw one. If we draw the same, we'll draw again. And pick out two different ones to open for you guys. So no peeking. I had one in my hand, and when I pulled it, it slid right out. Oh, I get these ones every time. What did you get? I got Bob Marley. Okay. I always get these ones. Yeah, you've gotten two of those, just like I've gotten two of the silly Yeah, CDs. so this is my third one of the rock cards. But I like these ones. It's 80s metal bands. And you got Bob Marley, the Bob Marley Legend collection cards. Yep. All right, so we're going to open these up and show you what we got. All right, so we both got a little lump sum of cards here. I have six. Oh, why do you always get the tiny packages? Oh. Huh. <laughs> that's funny. All right, so I have... Vince. That's funny. Grateful Dead. Vince Wilnick. That's cool. And this is to join the contest that we can't join. Oh, wasn't this the same sticker I got last time? I'm going to send this to Big Dog Dave. It says, Clown's Best Friend. <laughs> um, let's see. I got Mark Slaughter from Slaughter, which I have seen. I told uh, that's what we're going to start doing. I'm going to start letting... We should take a guess how many of these... Before we continue, this is one. One no, one yes. How many cards do you think I'm going to pull from bands I've seen? I don't know how many cards are in there. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen cards. I'll say seven. Seven of them I've seen? Fifty-fifty. So okay, so we're at one no and one yes with Slaughter, because I did see Slaughter. Okay, so this card is from Black Sabbath, and this is Tony, but I have not seen Black Sabbath. Next we have Dan Reed Network. And you got Dan. And I got Dan. <laughs> I have not seen them. Show the back so you can see them better. All right, next. Ooh, Anthrax, Frank Bello. I have seen Anthrax. They opened for Ozzy. Next. Oh, Salty Dog. Kurt. I believe Salty Dog opened for somebody I see, and I just don't remember who. There we go. Oh, look at there. We got another Anthrax card with Charlie. So that would be a yes. Oh, now this is going to be a shocker. ACDC, Chris Slade. Sadly... With all of the metal bands that I have seen, I have never seen ACDC. And card number two is also ACDC, Chris Slade. That's kind of funny. It is kind of funny you got two of the same person. Yeah, two of the same person back to back, right? Now we have Slaughter, Ballas, Elias. I have seen Slaughter. That was a yes. Oh, look at there. <laughs> Another slaughter card. Wow. Um, Dana Strum. So that would definitely fall into a yes. And so far, the next card, I'm going to say, because that will be one of my favies. 
Um, this is Warrant, Joey Allen. I have seen Warrant. And Poison, back in the 80s, Poison was my mother's favorite band, surprisingly. And I have seen Poison in concert. And last but not least, my favorite card now in the collection, Alice Cooper. Oh, and cool. yes, I have seen Alice Cooper. Actually, Spectre has seen Alice Cooper. Twice. Yes. I've seen him many times, but I've taken Spectre with me twice. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards are yes. Uh, but the thing is, I mean, some of these were the same band, but some of those were the same band, too, you know. So, one, two, what was there, three slaughters, and then there was uh, two anthraxes, and one salty dog. So, that was six different bands, but still, card-wise, we were betting on cards, not bands, so that's pretty awesome. All right, let's see what you got. All right, uh, there's an awkward one in here that doesn't fit huh. right with the others. Uh, so here, from 78, Bob Marley meeting a U.S. Senator. Snapshots. Uh, here's to join the $25 <laughs> sweepstakes. All right, again, probably not valid anymore. <laughs> Here oh, is and there's a catalog. An order form, so you can wow. order. Or you can order your life-size Bob Marley standee for only twenty-two ninety-five. Do you know what that's probably worth today if somebody has one of those? Probably a lot. No kidding, that's kind of crazy. That was the card that wasn't fitting right. So it was a little catalog. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. But even the prices back then were a little pricey. But no, there's still another card in here that oh. doesn't fit right. Uh, here's your One Love Checklist. Oh, that's cool. So this is all the cards you can get. Yep. So it's to collect all your One Love cards. These are all the ones so you can see if you got them all. So this is where Bob Marley met Alton Ellis. It's not, but that's just Bob Marley. The back says that. Oh, wait. Oh, that's because you got still just Bob Marley. Still just Bob Marley. <laughs> but it says, like, he was talking to Anton Ellis on the back. Bob Marley spent $250,000 of his own money to fly to Zimbabwe to perform in 1980. And that's now, that these cards are a little different. I notice on your cards as you're going through them. Like, this one says snapshots. This one says portraits. And then we have Bob on tour. And Bob on tour. So another Bob on tour. Just generic information about him singing songs. That's pretty cool. Uh, Bob, Bob in, in concert. concert. <laughs> uh, from 76. And then another snapshot from 78. It's the exact same first card that I got. Is it? Yep. Oh, that's crazy. Two of the same cards in one deck. But it happens. Anybody that buys trading cards knows that. It's just the way it is. You know, you, you take that chance of getting the same cards. I mean, we've already pulled some duplicates here. So, um, not in this pack, but we have cards that are exactly the same. Yeah. So, these are pretty awesome, though. I love opening the trading cards. I think that's... One of the things that I really do enjoy um, on our Monday Madness videos is getting to open the trading cards and seeing all the different kinds of cards. Yeah. You know, I remember back in the 80s, I, I, at the end of the 80s, I had a few of these. I probably have them somewhere in a box, but I have a whole, you know, bunch of them there to open up. I do want to say, though, that uh, when you order your Bob Marley shirts from your catalog, you can only get a large and an extra large. Really? Yep. That's it. That's funny. That's funny. Well, guess they don't, you know. Oh, yeah, large or extra large. Guess there were only two sizes back in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> back before McDonald's Lord started. help us all now. <laughs>
All right, guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell.